this matter of the mind of Christ all and in all. It's Paul expressed it to the church of Colossae. The faith of Christ in all and in all. With many objecting to this expression, saying that one doesn't have Christ until they get born again, baptized in the Holy Ghost, not understanding that this is a mystery hidden since time began, long before the day of Pentecost, long before any prophet could see this or understand it. Christ is all and in all, and it was hidden since time began. Now I repeat this over and over again, showing biblical text in context to express this eternal fact of what God had finished before the world began, to an oath and a promise sworn between the Father and the Son, if the need would rise, he would offer his life to the power of the Holy Spirit. God the Father, God the Son, God the Spirit accomplished that finished work once for all before time began. And all my other videos manifested biblical text in their context of this eternal fact. And this matter, Christ is all and in all. And what John has said, that he lit every man that come in the world. He lit them in the sense that Romans chapter 8 is saying, that though he subjected this world to futility, the death and decay, having beginning and end, his way of escape was placed in every one of us, so we will be without an excuse. It was hidden from all men, hidden from angelic beings, until the fullness of time which he would manifest that eternal fact. We've seen that come and go, that eternal fact manifest in time. To the death of Jesus Christ, his death, burial, and his resurrection. Not understanding its depth, we go with a shallow idea of it all, and miss it. So I hope to do that, develop this even deeper. This whole series of being in Christ, or having the mind of Christ. So, put aside for a few moments what you've heard or seen on this matter of faith and what is about to be shared with you to Christ in me, not my teachings. Reveal the fact that Christ is all and in all. Questions of faith. One. When the Son of Man comes, shall he find faith on there? This mystery revealed and being manifested will be taught. Few are doing this. They're dancing around it. But they're not saying this because the conflicts with their doctrinal statements of their particular denomination. Luke 18, 8. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Without getting off on that subject matter, what this text is saying. Pickles on this part. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith, those trusting in the faith of Christ in them on this earth? Remember, it's written, Vengeance is mine, said the Lord, I will avenge. Do we trust him to fulfill this single promise? He'll avenge you? Or are we out there in our own natural strength, physical, mental, and emotional strength, trying to avenge ourselves, independent from God? Now, fast he would move if he really believed to the mind of Christ in you, that if someone touches you, they've touched the apple of God's eye, to the degree that, that this truth is manifested and you believe this, he moves quickly. Now, if we trust him to fulfill this promise, what about all the others? How many promises there are in the Bible of things he forsworn that he would keep? And that he could swear by none higher, he swears by his own name and for his namesake, 
though you're unfaithful, he remains faithful? He promised. If I trust in the fact that when I'm unfaithful, that he still stands true to what he promised, you'll be amazed. Amazing grace. My God, he saved a wretch like me. I mean, if that don't convince you of his unconditional love, nothing will. What's well, about to reveal is called the faith of Christ. I've got a good video on that. And this mind of Christ, which this whole series is about. Said to be all and in all. Now many do not believe this. Thus there, this faith, and the mind of Christ in you, does not profit you. Paul said that if you seek to be circumcision, and Christ, this mind of Christ in you will profit you nothing. Go with your religious ideas for Judaism, that was their religious ideas, or you can go with the New Testament church's idea of things that can save you. We don't have circumcision as the issue. We would make baptism an issue. And giving up certain habits, certain behaviors. My God, if we come down to that, <laughs> who of us is going to be able to stand? They don't lack control in some area of our life. I got good videos on that. It's called Modern Day Circumcision. Seeing their faith. What did Jesus as the Son of Man see? Take a look at this. In light of these texts that will follow, you must understand faith to be the substance of these individuals mentioned in, in the text that will follow. The substance of things they hoped for. And when this substance of things hoped for was manifested, healing them, and so forth, it became the evidence, proof of this matter. I have a dress of Christ in you. Christ in them, the hope of glory. This mind of Christ in you and in them, at that time unaware, being hidden. Since the beginning of time, waiting to be manifested, revealing this mystery of Christ being all in all through the death, burial, and resurrection of the Son of Man, Jesus, being revealed to have been there before time began. Colossians chapter 1, verse 26. Even the mystery which has been hid from ages and from generations, but now made manifested to his saints. We're not excuse. It's manifested. Matthew 9, 2. And behold, they, they, the group, brought to him a man sick of the palsy, laying on a bed, and Jesus, seeing their faith, their trust, and what God could do to the Son of Man, Jesus, what prompted him? Christ in them. Said unto this man sick of the palsy, Son, be of good cheer, thy sins be forgiven thee. Now let me give you about this matter of his sins. In this case, this individual's so-called sin needed forgiving. Just what particular sin is not mentioned. Just know that these sins took their toll in his life as it does with us all. It was as the question once asked, remember, who sinned him or his parents? Jesus, Jesus answered their question and said, neither. But the power of God be manifested to Jesus, the Son of Man. Connected to what Jesus said later. The things that I do, you will do also greater. We can't say, but that was Jesus. You aren't seeing it if you think this. But this is you, the Son of Man, allowing Christ in you, this mind of Christ in you, allowing God your Father to you as a vessel only, like Jesus in the mode of a Son of Man, say and do the works of your Father, manifesting things hoped for, proof. That what was said, Christ is all in all, was and is real, producing evidence of this eternal fact, seeing this revealed not only to those in the Old Testament unaware, but also to those in the New Testament, having plainly revealed and no longer hidden. So understand that whether he sinned or his parents, and don't make that's not the issue, to make a difference, or this was an act of God to manifest the power, matters little, apart from the mind of Christ in you. 
and you you wouldn't know. If he did know, it wouldn't stop. Here it is. If you didn't know it, it would not stop this flow of the power found in Christ, to whom all power has given after his resurrection to know him and the power of his resurrection. His faith, his love, his mercy and grace is greater than our particular sins or sin. He overcame it all. Matthew nine twenty two. But Jesus turned about him, turned him about, and when he saw her, he said, "Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith, your trust in what I'm, what God can do, Christ in you, the mind of Christ in you, being activated, unaware to you, have made thee whole." And the woman was made whole from that hour. No, what happened was instant. Not some long drawn out idea of healing as we see today thinking to call it faith when Jesus in the mood of a son of man allowed the power of God our father flow through him he did not perform surgery and use the methods we would use today they were given to be renewed eyes limbs and removal of sickness and disease instantly we will find such faith will we find such faith when he comes again <laughs> I believe you know the answer I don't say this to judge you or myself. I say it in hope that we may see the sad state of affairs of our condition that blocks this eternal fact of Christ in you. It is from here that he will work out what is locked up in us, once hidden, now revealed, with one degree of glory and this faith, the mind of Christ to you being expressed according to the power that is operative in you. You got the power in you. What's operating? According to the power that's operating. But our fear and trembling and wondering if this is true. Ephesians 3.20 says that. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundant above all that we could ask or think. Now, focus on what it says. According to the power that worketh in us. In light of this, you can read Philippians 2.12 it makes sense. Wherefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. They have come to discover Christ in them, and were of the same mind as Paul taught them to Christ in him. Let me now bring out one more thing expressed in the above Ephesians text above what you could ask or think. So beyond your carnal thinking and asking comes out. This asking or thinking gets beyond stuff. The houses, cars, material possessions. Not that he can't give these things to those that seek the kingdom of God first. And all these things added unto him. Do you think that these other things meant a $300,000 home, a $200,000 car. Do, you th do these things prove that you have greater faith, Christ in you, than those with food, clothing, shelter, and being content with such things? Depends on the individual. Philippians 4.11 Not that I speak in respect of what I have learned, in whatever state I am, there within to be content, but much over little. First Timothy six six but good but godliness with contentment is great gain. First Timothy six eight and having food and remnant, let us therefore therewith be content. Today many feel that they have to compete in this expression of what they call their faith. Prove my faith because I have a brand new house or you know, have more money than the next guy. Did many feel they have to compete in this expression of what they call their faith? Outdoing others in this, keeping up with the Joneses, and judging those that don't. It's become a false idea of the expression of this faith or mind of Christ in them, becoming more about the carnal mind's thinking. So just see this text as above our thinking in a matter of material ideas of it all. Matthew 9.29 Then touched he their eyes, 
saying, According to your faith, Christ in you, be it unto you. Jesus, as a son of man, prompted by the will of God our Father to just touch their eyes and watch the power of God work out what was in him and now in you. Make the connection. The saving of our household. Matthew fifteen twenty eight. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. Christ in you. Be unto thee as thou will. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. This is the saving of your household. Her own daughter. These words that Jesus in the middle of some man were not his words. Remember that. The words of the Father. Mark 5.34 And he said unto her, Daughter, thy faith, Christ in you, hath made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy plague. Okay. Mark 10.52 And Jesus said unto him, Go thy way. Thy faith, Christ in you, had made thee whole. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus in the way. That faith that was in him, that trust in something he didn't understand. <laughs> Good God. It was a mystery to him, remember? It was hidden. And the devil knew it would never came about. Here he was manifesting the devil scratching him, everybody scratching their head, and looking at Jesus and saying, What kind of man's this? You know, thank <laughs> God. He had Christ in him. And when he saw their faith, Christ in them, he said unto them, Man, thy sins are forgiven thee. <laughs> and he said unto the woman, Thy faith, Christ in you, has saved thee. Go in your peace. Go in peace. And Luke 8, 28, And he said unto her, Daughter, be of comfort. Thy faith, Christ in you, and made thee whole. Go in peace. Seventeen nineteen. And he said unto her, Arise, go thy way. Thy faith, Christ in you, and made thee whole. To all those who mentioned, just mentioned, and more. I'm going to give you a few illustrations of that. Many times they didn't. They lacked that faith or that mind of Christ and, and the mind of Christ and the Son of Man Jesus exercised the power of God through him. But many times <laughs> it was in them. So all those just mentioned this matter of Christ in them, this mind of Christ in them as a mystery hidden since time began waiting to be manifested in what's called the fullness of time what was manifest in time was an eternal fact. This something in the faith of Christ the substance of things hoped for it. The evidence things once hidden, though manifest in the Old Testament from time to time, through the prophets and a few mentioned above, unaware to them, see all this was before the death and burial and resurrection. Later clearly manifested after the death, burial, and resurrection of the Son of Man, Jesus. Christ our Lord in the New Testament. Powerful stuff. I mean there's more to that. Which I'm sure will come down in other videos, but for now, that's enough for now. Uh, there'll be more to it. A lot of this is repetitious, I know. That's the way I picked it up, by repetition. But the mind of Christ speaking to me over and over and over again to undo what's been done to me. My misunderstanding of this simple matter of faith, think it was Baptist or Pentecostal or whatever. I mean, I mean, I don't mean to mock them or put them down. There's a lot of them in there that understand what I'm talking about. But there's something much deeper about this mind of Christ that was hidden, now revealed, and it overriding my carnal mind, my secular and religious opinions that have blocked that mind of Christ for so long. Wait through the Spirit. You get a question. Wait through the Spirit. When someone asks you a question, on you better ask, Father, how would you respond to that question? What would you say? And don't give an answer off the top of your head. Many times you will say, say nothing. They say, you're stupid. <laughs> you're dumb. You know? Boy, this guy don't know nothing. <laughs> I mean, that's pride. Let the pride go. I want to give that answer that he wants to give. I want to do what he says to do. I've done it too many times in my past. But it was me speaking, my giving an answer. Am I doing things at my own need rather than his need? He knows that person better than I do. What man knows the thoughts of the man, save the spirit of that man. 
the one on me the flesh. Why are they asking that question? Why are you giving that answer? I know, it's not you. I'm crucified, nevertheless I live, and the life I lived, I live now through the faith of the Son of God, the mind of Christ in me. I don't frustrate that grace. So if you got something now on this, add this, tuck it into your mind, and ponder it. God bless.